Hey everybody and welcome to part 19 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, I'm Nostalgia Scott and we're going to Crystal Islands. Probably my favorite designed level in any Spyro game. And that's saying something, like I love all Spyro games. This is my favorite level of all time. So I'm excited to be doing this one. Yeah, this is a magic based level, so being our first le official level in this world, we have Crystal Islands, uh, reach the Crystal Tower, and 700 gems and 6 eggs. I believe the last ability you unlock as Sparks is the ability to teleport to levels by using the Atlas, which, with all due respect, I believe the only thing we actually have to backtrack to after you beat the game is the Sparks level, so, um, Flying Beaver? This is like Canada on Drugs, man. Canada on Drugs. Hey, wait a minute. You again. I just realized this is also the music from, um, Seashell Shore. Huh. I was not expecting this music to be reused. Like, I honestly forgot this was the soundtrack for this level. Like, it honestly just feels out of place in Big Crystal Beasts. You know what? Kind of reminds me of, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! as well with the Crystal Beasts. You know, one of my favorite decks of all time. And I think that was my phone that just vibrated. I'll have to check that later. Oh, sneaky. I like how you almost had some gems there. I think they should have brought back the uh, whole concept from Spiral 1, where you can, like, charge on at the uh, uh, light posts and then gems will fall down, because the light posts are gems, you know? What the frick are you throwing at me? Like, steel spike things? Like, holy cow, man. You guys are some violent SOBs. And I believe this is also one of two levels that has money bags in this world. Yeah, I wasn't excited about seeing him either, but he's here. He may have taken damage, but we can just eat it up. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve. Nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to sit through all that. I was just using that time to text my girlfriend. And anyways, let's hop over here. Oh yeah. These guys give off very little gems. The gem count here is really weird. And, oh man, looks like we're going to have to backtrack to get that egg. Cause, like, we're going to get that egg, but then we're low to the ground, so we have to freaking go back for... Back around to get back up here. It's kind of tedious, but yeah, whatever. We we do almost anything for 100% completion. Manny, hey, nah, it's not spelt the right way as uh, uh, Ice Age. Ice Age is a good movie. I haven't seen Collision Course though. Like, I know it's on video now, but is it like any good? Oh, the music disappeared. Oh okay, yeah, it's just because I was talking to him apparently. But, yeah, like, I haven't seen Collision Girls. Like, you remember what I'm thinking of seeing in theaters, but it's like, eh, it's one of those movies we really don't want to pay 12 bucks for. All this mess. Like, you know, I don't care. You can create the whirlwind. I can't do that right now. Oh, man, lag. In-game lag. He's, he's, I don't know, his magic is causing us to lag. Kind of annoying. Hey, big beast. Hey, you're also going to remind me of the beast from the X-Men. I've been actually starting to select comic books again. I've gotten Spider-Woman issue 1 and 2, like the Pregnant series, and I've also gotten some um, Spider-Man 2099, like year 2099. It's a, it's a good comic book series, I enjoy it. I, I kind of prefer him over Basic Spider-Man, though I really do love Basic Spider-Man. Still, it's, it, both are good series, and I highly recommend you uh, read both if you're into superheroes and comic books. If not, then just wait and maybe eventually we'll get a... Okay. Hey, uh, movie farming. That guy, when you hit him, sounds like the Norks that have, like, the, the bags at the very first homeworld, the artisan homeworld. When you hit them, they drop two red gems, and when you kill them, they drop three. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of them. Yeah, and there's freaking greedy money bags all up in my grill. So, let's talk to him again. Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? 
My specialty is the, uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first. For my expenses, you understand. Oh, my thousand j Fuck you, money bags. Fuck you. Pardon the language, but I am tired of you taking my money. And did my phone just vibrate twice? Hang on, let me just check this for a second. Eh, my girlfriend's just saying love you. God, I hate how you have to, like, talk to the magicians further and further away from where you actually are. These things don't sound like beavers, by the way. Die, beaver. Go shave yourself or something. Ooh. We got a Bentley thing over here, but we can't go to it because we can't reach it from here. So, alas... We must go around a different way. I believe the level and level's actually not that long. There's just lots to do and going on around the level. So we might actually have time to do the speedway in this episode. Because if we do, then awesome sauce for us. Now I gotta go talk to him. Eh, where is he? Oh, he's over here. Yeah, and I know you're just gonna create more gems that I have to hop across, because clearly it's a big gap. Man, why do you magicians seem to use a lot of money? Like a lot of high money things. Here, what the you hell? Can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off. Because dragon eggs are magical, sir. We got Lloyd, or La Lloyd, like they say in Batman, uh, Lego Batman. So they do leave the level, but there is no other, like, device, so I honestly don't know why they leave. And there's a, there's a portal back there, and I believe... That's actually the slide mechanic. That's only in this world. Like, not this level, but this world. Like, World 4. And I don't know why, but it's in two levels. I guess they didn't want to oversaturate it, but I think they should have brought it out in, like, maybe World 2 or 3. Instead of abusing it in one world, and then that's it. No! Don't fall. I'm trying to keep... Or trying to collect all the gems, like... This? God damn it, we died. We died! Like, honestly, the levels in this world are not hard except for dino mines, and that's because the enemies are bullshit, but these levels are only difficult with the slides. Other than that, I don't believe there's anything like excruciatingly painful. Like the ruin level, that level's actually very simple and very easy if you just play it normally, and I can believe it's a, a Sheila based level as well. Like. That's your animal buddy there. So hopefully we can collect all the gems here. Huh. Sometimes like dying isn't bad because then you can come back and collect any gems that you may have missed. Because clearly there's a lot of gems here. Okay, I'm just saying that we missed some here, so let's collect these first. And yeah, we collect missed some back up there, so we have to go back. Eloise from uh, Jimmy Two Shoes, and that portal got big. It spits me out the same end too. That's just weird. Let's go back. Cause there's like always five or six gems together, which makes it very hard to get. I can't believe we're under five thousand gems again. Like seriously. Does money bags always have to be greedy? And I can't remember if this slide is actually more difficult than the other level. The other level might be more difficult, or it might be less because there is a Agent 9 part. Agent 9 always seems to have very difficult parts. Not sure why, but he doesn't. Oh. I kind of thought we missed that 10. God damn it! No! I'm pretty sure there's gems in here still. Yeah, god damn it, there's gems in here still. Like, here's a tip you can't jump on here. You cannot jump. You cannot collide, you cannot charge, you cannot hover, you cannot anything like that. You can only slide. And it doesn't even like a sliding sound effect. It's it just seems so weird. And my girlfriend texted me again. I don't know. She must have slowed down at work because like she couldn't text me for like an hour straight and then all of a sudden now she can text me lots, so I'm assuming work slowed down quite a bit. Oh. Kinda figured I missed the big one. Okay, I guess I'll uh, just answer the text message. I'll just say miss you. 
don't know what else to say right now. I don't think she's watched these videos in so long, because if she did, I wouldn't have zero views on the uh, episode before this one. Or, not the episode before this one. The, um... Episode... Before the last one, I guess? Like, the Agent 9 episode? Ah, we got the Bentley, it looks like a... a got the Bentley! We got a, uh, Bentley and a thief thing going on here. Good evening, Spyro! The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show. Okay, I'm amazed you didn't come up with some weird name for the show. Yay! What this mechanic? Oh yeah, we have more of his music. I don't know, this music is, I guess, okay for this level. Like, a lot of the buddies' music just doesn't fit. Yeah, we're gonna start seeing a lot of bigger gems throughout these levels, you know, because there's, like, such a high gem count. Oh, okay, I, I didn't think we could go down here at first until we actually completed the challenge, but we are. We are allowed. I like the Kriyahu in the background. Still can't believe that Fisticuff level. I apologize with that. It was like so annoying to your ears and stuff. Okay, so when you're tracking gems, you can't actually walk. Get no more gems so we can do the challenge. I'm afraid my magic. Now all we have to do is play a game of whack a mole. And we'll automatically walk down, so. Now, you have to hit the moles, but you cannot hit the magicians that come through looking for the moles. Like that. Because you lose. I was just showing you guys I didn't screw up or anything like that. It's definitely not what I just did. That was not me. I apologize. Die, mole. Why aren't you dying? Hey, like... Oh, man. There we go. And so many moles. God damn it! Like, this is really hard if they get out of control. Like, I guess it's just randomized, because, like, sometimes I go through this challenge being really easy, and other times I go through it being a very difficult challenge, because... I think, you know, the magician sometimes pops up. Like, like the first time, the magician popped up there. Go. Not you, you're a magician. Fuck you, magicians! Why are you guys coming through the holes? Well, that did I guess it's their way of, like, you know, making it so they're being chased out, but come on. That's still annoying. Burp. Burp. Can you actually just, like, die, please? Thank you. Eh. They seem to get on the way out. Like, once they're out, they're really annoying to deal with, but yeah, they're not too bad. Oh my lord. So many moles, so little time. Actually, it's not that little time. I just thought we had less time than that, but it doesn't seem that bad. Don't know what people bitch and complain about. And there we go, we're done. Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Well, thank you. You found me my egg. It has name Hank. Uh, Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, Hank. You can stop your weirdness. Well, anyways, with that we have one, two, three eggs. One, two, three. We got lots of eggs. Boink. Alright, now that, there actually is a weird mechanic in this level, and that is chasing this thief. Like, we do have limited flight time, but at the same time, there are, like, speedway boosts and stuff like that in here. It's kind of weird, you know? It's like a weird concept. Surprisingly, it does go down quite fast. Ah, that... 
That was actually easier to do than I was expecting. Did I just get another text message? Oh my god, already. Max! Max, what you doing here? Why aren't you in Goofy? Well, a Goofy movie. Or an extremely Goofy movie. Really good freaking movies, man. I will admit that right now. We got a free egg right here. Sweet free egg named Grace from Will and Grace. Wow, that was like the easiest six eggs to get ever. Like, sure, we had a few mishaps with like the whole... God, get away from it. The whole, um... Like, slide and Bentley thing hitting him a few times, but otherwise, not bad at all. Yeah, I think it went fairly well. Did the gem seriously fall down here? Oh, it did too. Now, I know we need to get that key. I don't believe there's any other way up there unless we take the... the, the flight ability, so... Where are we? Is this the ending of the level right here? I don't think that's the ending of... I think that is the ending of the level. I think. If not, it's the beginning. God damn it, it's the beginning. God poop it. Yeah, we're definitely not getting a, uh... Another level done in this episode. I do apologize, and now we're gonna drown, because... We're, we're getting gems pushed onto our skull. Boinky boinker! Okay. Like, I'm glad that we now have, like, all the magic connected so we can just keep going. But it's kind of tedious. And I don't know why I didn't get the key first. I just saw the, ch the egg and I'm like, Oh, I must get in. Money bags is missing, too. It's really weird. I didn't know money bags disappeared. I thought money bags stayed in the level until, like, we went to another level and then he was just there. Uh, hmm. How do I get to Bentley again? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, we need this. Okay. Yeah. That we just fly over to the, to the left, and voila, we should be able to get 100% because I'm pretty sure all the missing gems are just in the, um, in the frickin' chest. Why didn't you... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, good sir. Island... Pretty sure it's this island up here. And with this, we should be able to get 100%. Now, there's not a level in the game now where we can't get 100% right away. Oh, lots of moolah. Oh, man. Up there? What are you talking about up there? What does he... What does he mean up there? Does he mean like with the whirlwind? Pretty sure he means with the whirlwind. Okay, damn it, he does mean with the whirlwind. Or er, not whirlwind, why do I keep saying whirlwind? I mean like the uh glide ability or the fly ability or the, the freaking whatever this thing is. What do you know what this is, man? Again, that thief is really easy to get. I honestly thought he was gonna be a lot more difficult than that. And... Yay, one gem. That we can leave with our 5,100 gems again! Because Moneybags keeps taking all our goddamn money. That greedy son of a bear. And with that, I will end off the episode. And I will see you guys all next time when we take on probably the level known as Desert Ruins. See you then.